Hey there, Don Monroe here. Um, I had a question about turning a date into a month or in a quarter, and I thought I would show you real quick what I ended up doing. So uh, I broke this out into steps. I'm going to get to this column E, but there first I can pull out the number of the month from any cell that's a date. And so I've got that, and I'm going to just take that all the way down. So you see it's accurately pulling um, April, there's December, or pardon me, October, and so on. And then the next step of this is I want to take that month and divide by three. What I'm looking for is to uh, get the exact quarter that each month is going to fall into. So the trick is to divide by three. And then you'll see that it's giving us a decimal place, so we don't really want that. So the next thing you're going to do is use the round up feature. And with that, you are including that month, dividing by three, and then we'll put the, um, to, to get it to a single integer is to go ahead and use a zero in there. So you pick what cell you're using and then you are rounding up and we don't want any decimal places. So once I have that, I'll fill that down and you'll see here it is giving me April falls in the second quarter, October falls in the fourth quarter, and so on. So at this point, what I wanted to do was take all of those pieces and combine them but I also like to identify mine with Q in front. So what you'll see, and here's your little cheater over here, I used the Q in quotation marks and then did an ampersand to join it. I used the roundup and nested in the month function, doing that divide by three and rounding up uh, for the integer. And you'll see that I put that in here and it is working beautifully, and I'm just going to fill that down. And there I have my four quarters. Now, the last piece that I would say to you, if you don't want that always calculating and recalculating, what you could do, control shift down arrow, I'm selecting them all here, and back up. What I'm going to do is copy that, control C, and then right click paste values. So this is no longer relying on the function and you could, I could paste it right on top and a lot of times that would, that's what I do. But in, in this example, I just thought I'd show you side by side. So there is the cell that's doing the calculation and here it is pasted as simply a value. That's it, have a great day. Be sure and subscribe. Thank you.